happy Wednesday, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Uh, it's getting closer, so I know you're getting more excited. Remember our Christmas Eve services this Friday night, Christmas Eve, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, two services. They're identical. We'll live stream the 5 o'clock service only. Hope you'll join us uh, to worship on Christmas Eve. Um, the, the part of this chapter, chapter 21 of Matthew, that spoke to me is the first 11 verses where Jesus uh, enters Jerusalem riding on a donkey. And when you really look closely at the story, there are two donkeys. There is an older one and a younger one. The younger one is also known as the colt or the foal in this chapter. And uh, Jesus enters Jerusalem riding the younger one, meaning that the older one probably uh, was there to keep the younger one you know, from panicking. Uh, with the crowds and all, you know, keep it comfortable, and so on. The mother, in, in all likelihood, and he's writing the younger one. And uh, doing that, Jesus fulfilled the prophecy in the Old Testament found in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11, and part of Isaiah 62, verse 11. Now, what's interesting is that in ancient times, you know, kings and soldiers and warriors who won great battles would uh, enter the city, uh, victoriously, part of a parade, etc., usually riding on a horse or in a chariot pulled by horses. But uh, Jesus comes riding a donkey. Now, when you, when you read Revelation, we do have the image of Jesus riding uh, a, a beautiful, powerful horse at the second coming because he's coming in victory uh, to uh, put the enemy of death and so on under his, under his foot. Uh, that's then. But this first time, entering Jerusalem, he's riding, he's riding a bird, uh, you know, a beast of burden, a donkey, a work, a work animal, a lowly work animal, and it speaks to humility. It speaks to Jesus carrying in his own body the burden of our sin. And remember, he was entering Jerusalem not to set up an earthly kingdom. That, that was one of the issues, is that the people of his day expected the Messiah to establish a powerful nation, a military nation. And Jesus did not do that. He established a spiritual kingdom, a spiritual kingdom. And to do that, he had to die. And so in humility, rather than riding a victorious horse, he's riding a beast of burden, a work animal, a donkey. Because Jesus is there to do a job. And that job is to die for you, pay the penalty for your sin, to carry the burden and the consequences of your sin. How about take a, a moment and thank Jesus, like we talked about yesterday, for thinking about you instead of himself, and uh, to thank Jesus for carrying your sin in himself, on himself at the cross for being willing to humble himself and do that so that you could be forgiven, that your life could be changed. And maybe just maybe we as his followers in 2021 and 2022 here in America, maybe we can care more and give more energy and more passion and more excitement and more money and more words and, and everything to seeing people be saved and become part of Jesus' spiritual kingdom. If, if some of us put the energy into that that we put into earthly kingdoms and earthly politics, we might actually change this country. A, a beaten, a, a, a beast of burden. Jesus had a job to do. We have a job to do. And it's to make known Him so that people can be saved. That's what we're celebrating here at Christmas. Hey, God bless you. Merry Christmas. I'll see you tomorrow.